Tis the season for holiday parties, maybe a wedding or two, and you're thinking to yourself, I have short hair and don't know what to do. I'm here to help you and show you the way that even with a tight crop, you can have, I don't know, I, I was trying to be Dr. Seuss and it just wasn't happening. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to today's video. Um, this is so exciting for me. I love hair tutorials. I love giving you ideas and examples of how to mix it up. And as we head into the holiday season, and there are a lot of parties to attend, and you're wanting to kind of break out of the box, do something different. You know, you wear your hair like this every day, you got your shortcut, and you're thinking, what can I do? I've got my dress on, and, and I just don't want to do the same look. I'm here to show, show you that there are quite a few varieties, and um, and what I've decided to do, because I'm silly this way, I'm a product of the 80s, and so I've decided to name my four different hairstyles uh, after popular 80s bands. <laughs> so bear with me as I try to throw a little humor in the mix. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is first of all show you what you need. A hair dryer will be a good thing. You're not going to start wet. In fact, it's best if your hair is a few days dirty because it sticks. A little bit of tackiness is a good thing when you're trying to create different looks. So this is day three hair and it's going to work perfectly for what I'm going to show you. You'll want a flat iron or a curling iron to create waves. You can do it with either. You will want a wide round brush uh, to initially smooth things out, get rid of any kinks, twists, bends that might be in the hair. You'll want a little teasing brush. You will want a comb with a, uh, a tip, an end here to be able to work with part lines. You will want uh, bobby pins. You will want a thin headband and any hair accessories, pins and things like that. I actually wore these in my hair for my wedding and I use them on occasion for updos and different evening looks, but they really dress things up. So if you have any kind of hair pins and accessories, those are great. Okay, so I'm going to push in, get closer, and we're going to start with look number one. Okay, here we go. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our hair is smooth. Like I said, no kinks or bends. So this is when you want to take an opportunity and look at your hairline. Sometimes we get calyx up front. Um, and what I will do is just take a large round brush going from back to forward and just smooth it out a little bit on a high heat. And really just straightening. Okay, and so this just gives us a really clean palette to start with. Um, I bet you're wondering what I'm going to call this one. Well, I've decided to call this look my Annie Lennox Eurythmics hairstyle. Uh, her hair was much shorter than this. It was very masculine looking, sort of flat into the head, and it's a classy, classy look. I especially love this look if you're doing a pantsuit, um, especially an evening kind of tuxedo pantsuit. It's sort of a masculine feminine thing, and it's very sexy in my opinion, and super easy to do, and you can modify it and actually make it a little bit more feminine if you so choose. But this one's easy, so you want to take a brush that has some tightly packed bristles because we're going to flatten things out. So what I do is I just find my side part and you can even play with parts if you want. You can go for a deep side part, um, you can even zigzag in the part line, it's up to you. But I'm just going to take this and slick it back and then the side here is just going to get tucked under my ear, so you're just basically slicking it back and tucking it under. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot my hairspray. Hold on. Okay, let's just blame that one on menopause brain, okay? My Kenra Volume 25, I am now good to go. So I've done a deep set side part. You may notice in the back, you might have to uh, just 
blow dry these guys again we're just looking to make everything smooth so wherever you see calyx bumps lumps just smooth it out this look reminds me when I had longer hair um, and you may have done this too uh, sort of that Spanish style senorita ponytail and you would either have a ponytail in the back or maybe create a knot or a bun in this case no hair so no bun but what we're doing is we're just slicking it down and giving it a bit of a, um, a boyish look and then I'm going to show you how you can pop in some femininity if need be you can give yourself a little bit of a push a little bump in the back because chances are you've got some layers back here to give you lift and that adds a little femininity if you don't want to have it totally flat you want everything here to come down and tuck under back to be smooth the sides I'm just doing flat here okay and so once you have everything in place this is when you can take advantage of your little decorative pins and I to me the prettiest I think is focusing just on one side and on the low part by the ear so you could take some of these pins and then just kind of tuck them in like so I don't have them fastened in very well uh, just in the name of brevity here but I'm gonna do my best so just pop in a few we're getting there and I will do three I like odd numbers and then just take them and flatten them down and that is a way to bring a little bit of femininity to your look as you've flattened out and made your hair a bit more masculine but you can really play around with different types of pins and hair adornments and uh, get things that maybe match what it is that you're wearing with color with texture stones and whatnot but this took literally um, two minutes maybe to put together which is why I love it and you can either slick it down with a little bit of gel on the sides or again a hard hold hair hairspray I like this Kenra super hold volume 25 it does the trick for me every time but this is look number one thank you Annie Lennox of the Eurythmics sweet dreams are made of this look number two this one will be an easy transition and don't be afraid of Ms. Grace Jones <laughs> okay she's the inspiration for this second look um, yes it looks a little hard but there are ways to soften this up what we're going to do in this particular case is we're, we're creating kind of a faux hawk here okay um, and what I love also about that hairspray is that it brushes out um, it's not sticky or tacky in any way um, what I need to do is just re-blow dry this little front section right here to make it all go back and it's really just the front I'm gonna hit it with a cool shot a little cool pop okay and just let that hold for a second and that should do it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to create essentially a faux hawk we're going to take a little part here on one side sort of the arch the brow and the arch of the brow and just go straight straight back like so okay and then that hair you're just going to tuck and slick down and back and if you have to anchor that with hairspray go for it you probably will tuck and slick straight down Okay, and then I'm going to spray here at the root line to hold that part up again same area kind of at the arch of the brow go straight back section that off so we've got our little faux hawk right here okay tuck and spray okay now this don't get scared <laughs> take your teasing brush 
And we're going to start with the front. Key is to get some height here. Now you can totally tone this down with pins and things like that, which is what I will do. But I'm going to show you two options, okay? So you've created your faux hawk, and now you can take this hair and you can slick it straight back like so. And so you're creating height in the middle and you can then take bobby pins, which is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to twist a little bit and anchor some of the top pieces. So I'll grab a section here and I'll twist it, I'll twist it back a little bit. and then anchor it. I shouldn't do that with my teeth, I know. Take a section here and just twist it and anchor it back. And you can pull, you can loosen along the way, whatever it is that you want to do. and then spray as you go. And you're creating a bit of a little pompadour in the center for those of you who like some height. And again, you can also utilize pins and things to add decoration. You can slick down the sides for again, more of that. You know, even pink does her hair a bit like this. Or you can take some pins uh, here are some decorative ones with a little bit of gold and red. And if you want to, instead of tucking the sides down, but get these guys going back as well, you can do the same thing with decorative pins here on the side. I've got four of them. Two. And this is a very sort of loose and teased, not perfect, which is what you want. You want a few pieces just kind of popping out. Again, I like the um, pin decoration close to the ear, by the earring. I just think it's, you know, a big compliment doing that. There we go. And again, the back of your hair is just completely slicked back. And there is your Grace Jones faux hawk with uh, some pretty embellishments should you need to go that way. And again, everything just slicked back in the back. But again, it's not going anywhere. That hairspray is going to anchor it and the teasing really helps as well. But the key is just to tease this top section where you want height because you want it to have more of a flat look here on the sides. But I think this is very fun and flirty and feminine. And again, only took a couple of minutes to create. So now we're going to transition from this one to my next, uh, one of my favorite band members, bands actually, in the 80s, and that is the Go-Go's and Belinda Carlisle. Um, these girls always had relatively short hair and they used um, headbands quite a lot. So that's what we're going to incorporate in this next look. And this will be super, super easy and quick as well. I don't need to re-blow dry the hair. I'm just essentially brushing out the hairspray. And so for this one, I'm just going to tease a little bit again to create a bigger hair look. So just do it in sections, the front, the top, the back here, the sides by the face. We're creating the illusion of more hair. A little bit in the back, not too much. There we go. Okay, so we've got, woo, we got volume. All right, and we're gonna take what's really popular now, these super skinny hair bands. And 
And a lot of you may wear these to work out in and to keep hair off of your face, but I'm gonna show you how you can easily make this a nighttime look as well. So you take your hairband and you're gonna get it relatively close to the hairline. Push it back just a tiny bit, maybe, maybe about an inch. And then take all this hair and start pushing it back. And then what I do is I don't like it so flat here. That's more of a workout look. I'll take the um, comb here and start pulling ever so gently just to get a little bit of a bump up front. Ooh, I'm starting to see some gray hairs. It's time for a root touch up. <laughs> that might be next week's video. Just keep pulling just a little bit and then pull get this away from some of your under hair so they they come out too. You can get a little bit of a flip back here. The key again is to have the height up top here in the middle and to keep it very very kind of free and flowing and fun and crazy. Very crazy. And so easy. The, te the key with this was just teasing it um, and getting the volume. And again, just kind of grab your hair and, and piece it. So, you know, if I want these to come out a little bit in the back, I'll take it, I'll piece it, and then I'll hit it with some hairspray. And it just creates a little bit of a fuller look in the back of the hair. And especially here at the crown, you want your height. So just sort of run your fingers through that and make sure you've got your height in the back. And again, another opportunity um, for hair embellishments. I like matching the um, headband with the color of the dress. Um, I think that's a great opportunity too. Or you could even do silver and gold if you wanna have a little bit more of a pop in the headband. But that's it. It's a very, very simple evening look, fun, a little bit more teased, a little bit looser, um, having a good time with our 80s bandmates. And they were just so cute and fresh and fun and playful. And, and I just like this. And I, I just think it's a bit of a messier look and, and a, a little bit of a looser look if that's something that you're going for. And the beauty is, is that it also keeps your hair out of your face. So you'll be able to see all night and you won't worry about it going flat. And, um, and then you can go to a workout class, you know, the next morning because you haven't slept. Okay, so my final look today don't laugh again <laughs> but it is the flock of seagulls now again it's modified i'm not going to do the the full flip and two dips on on both sides i'm going to do the high and then the the flip and for that we will need our curling iron so here's what you do for this one you get yourself a nice deep set part so for me it's this side and start pushing your hair. Let's see, already it's already taken on a flock of seagulls thing here. Uh, but what I wanna do is add a little bit of a wave to it. So that's why I've got the handy curling slash, it's a time, T-Y-M-E, it's a flat iron, but it makes waves and all kinds of things. And I'm just gonna go for loose, big waves, primarily on the longest part, which is toward the front. and kind of work through big sections. God, my hair has so much product in it, it's just sticking to this flat iron. But uh, I'll get her done, don't worry. Okay. Also make sure that you use a, um, a product for heat uh, whether it's blow drying, flat iron, curling iron, um, you want to make sure that your hair is protected. And I'll list in the uh, description box some of the products that I use to, uh, to do that job. We're getting there. Everything is going back in this case. few extra pieces over here where I've got some length and 
then in the name of symmetry on this side, I'm not going to leave it totally straight. I will wave it back, but it's still going to get slicked back. Okay. So this is the point now where you basically style with your hands. You should have enough product in your hair at this point. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to just loosely run my fingers through it. And bring it up to the side and then down forward, just kind of pushing it forward. Pushing it forward. Okay, in the back is getting tucked back here. Always make sure when you have short hair to use a mirror and check the back. Uh, I've got a little mirror kind of behind me over here so I can see the back of my hair too um, because you want to make sure that you don't have any holes in your head. So I was able to verify that I don't. And once you start getting things the way you like it, Hit it with your, hit it with your best friend. And the flock of seagull is long here, so you can take it. Don't don't do as much curl. Leave these ends out, so you get a little bit of length here, and then kind of scrunch up here to get the height on the side. And again, slip this back. That comes forward. If you want to use pins here, hey. This is the place to do it, especially the area where your hair is pulled back. So you can take a pin and go in. Whoop. These have very wide openings, so I've got to get creative in how I twist them. Sometimes it's good to go up and then down and anchor it like so. There we go. When you get everything where you want it, like I said, spray, spray, spray. But this one is just a matter of, of pulling and securing. But I love this. This is very, very fun and loose and playful. Um, it does create the illusion of having longer hair. So if that's something that um, you're looking to experience this holiday season, yes, my short hair ladies can definitely trick their friends. Everybody be like, what? How, do, how did your hair grow? What kind of vitamins are you taking, girl? So there you have it. I think we just knocked out four pretty quick and easy ways to change it up during the holidays or even a wedding to add some oomph to your hairstyle. Short hair is not limiting. I have been repeating that over and over on this channel. It is just in how you get in there and how you get creative with it. There is inspiration everywhere, ideas on Pinterest, ideas right here on this channel. Um, but I just, I always wanna show you that you are never locked in and stuck. And please, please don't ever, ever let a hairstyle define yourself self-worth and self-esteem. You are not a hairdo. A hairdo is just creative expression, end scene, done. Have fun with it. Don't be afraid of it. If you're a long hair girl, great. Keep it long. If you're short, have fun. If you're like me and everywhere, enjoy it. It's a great creative process and I love to be able to show you ideas and options. So comments, ideas, suggestions. I hope you like my 80s theme um, and, and my inspiration. <laughs> Um, I just love 80s music. It's the best music to dance to ever. For those of us who grew up in the 80s, we are blessed. Best music ever, I think. So go out, be bold, be blessed, have a blast this holiday season or whatever party you might be attending, and I will see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.